Hi, it's Katie the Crafty Crab and uh, welcome to the second monthly collaboration with Donna and Little Space on Paper Crafts. Now, first of all, I have to apologise because I am one day late. These collaborations are meant to be going up on the first of the month. Fortunately, I have had terrible technical problems um, with the file corrupting, so this is the um, second time I've had to re-edit and uh, do the audio, so sorry for the delay, guys. So this month's collab, um, it focuses on um, the same theme as before, three into one. So Donna, a little space from Paper Crafts, came up with this idea of we would find three different elements within our stash each month, and it's a way of using our stash alongside some of the basics. So as you can probably see and guess, the main element of this month's collaboration are die cuts. Um, the other two items were gems and colours, so that would involve any colouring implement, um, ink, sprays and so forth. Um, so I started off this video by selecting quite a few dies that I was thinking of using. Now one of my little craft hacks is whenever I'm going to do some die cutting, I always tend to put a few hours aside and select a few dies, look through my scraps and basically do a lot of die cutting all at the same time. I feel like it saves time in the long run. I don't often use die cuts, so it just gives me a little stash that I can come back to as and when I have cards to make. For this particular project, I wanted to use the intricate butterfly die. So I had a pokey tool as well that I used just to get all of those little elements out. And as part of this collaboration, we're we focus on three particular elements, but of course there's a lot of basics that we're allowed to use, such as cardstock, pattern paper, glues, um, and so forth. So I knew I wanted to colour these butterflies, and I wanted it to be quite random, um, pretty much like butterflies in real life, so I knew I wanted to use some sprays and inks. With that, I thought, so that I can save some background for a future project, I've sprayed and inked this straight onto some cardstock. And um, as you can see, I've used ink, inks and sprays, and I also um, spray with water just to help spread out the inks. And I also soak up some of the excess just to speed up the drying time. I'm really excited to see what all the other guys make this month. So I knew I was going to end up making a card, and I hope you've been following the series from last month. So this collaboration, just to remind you, is going to be posted live on the first of every month or um, thereabouts if there's any technical problems, like for me. And um, it has different three elements each time. So I really do hope you look in the description and check out all the other participants. You can see now that the butterflies are coming along really nicely. I let them dry f naturally um, for a few more minutes and then I'm going to peel off these butterflies just to see what kind of background I'm left with. I'm really happy with the colours that came out on these butterflies. They are so pretty. Um, less impressed by my background paper, but even so, you'll see at the end um, how I've been able to rescue it a bit and I'll be able to use that for a future mixed media project. I'll now watch, uh, let you watch this um, speed it up a bit just so that you can see the rest of my process and how I complete the card.
and here is my finished card. So I ended up going with something very neutral that you can use for birthdays and anniversaries and I'm really happy with how it's come out. I think just the simple die cuts on yellow cardstock edged with the pink raspberry distress inks, just so pretty, probably one of the prettiest things I've made. And here's the final background cardstock. So I went around with a pen um, just to bring out those butterflies and you can see it will make a really good background for a future mixed media project. Please do check out everyone that's participating in this month's collabs. Um, really appreciate the views and the comments and do check out everyone listed in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again next month. Bye for now. Bye.